OK, now move to main activity.java file. Here, first get the ID of the tab host. and call setup on it now we will add tabs to tab widget for this have a look here a tab has a tab indicator content and a tag that is used to keep track of it these are all added through tab spec tab spec has some methods for them common methods are First, set indicator, used to add label or icon or both to tab. Second, set content, used to display contents related to tab. It requires an intent or activity, or may have ID of a view group. Ok, now back to code. First create a tab spec object. Now, use its methods to create a tab. And finally, Use add tab method of tab host, and pass tab spec object in it, to finally add the tab to tab widget. This ID is here, from linear layout. Now, Copy these four lines of code, and, paste and change them as per your tab's requirement. OK, here we are done. Now, let's run the app. Oops. Don't worry. Let's check. Here, one more thing, if you ever get an error because of your Java code, then put that suspicious code within try catch block. and toast the error message or set it on a text view. Like this.
Now, let's fix the main error. Go to your XML code. See, our mistake here is, these ID values, we need ID like these, as I already told in the previous video. So, let's change them. Okay, again we have an error. See. This is because the ID values should exactly same. These IDs are important. Okay now again run this app. We got it now. Thanks for watching, friends. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel.